the stereotype of a surfer is like, oh, there's waves. I'm not going to show up for work, you know, live to surf, surf to live. That's great. <laughs> Except it doesn't go well with, you know, your employer. It doesn't go well with these kids, you know, trying to get into colleges or setting them up for life. And so with coaching the high school surf team, you kind of have to break that stereotype. And that takes discipline. That takes a ton of athleticism. It takes a ton of cross training and focus. We really, you know, are strict on the kids to show up to practice every practice, to be on time, to make sure they're listening to the coaches. I mean, we want them working hard for this. The Maui Interscholastic League is actually the first league in the whole nation to make high school surfing a sanctioned Department of Education sport. Where it's not just a club, it really involves the high school, it involves getting grade checks. It is a process, it's taken 20 plus years to get Maui to officialize surfing as a sport. We live in where surfing came from and there's tons of kids that surf. Kim Ball, the owner of High Tech, the surf shop here in Maui. He fought for it for a really long time. He's the guy, we owe it all to him. In our season, we're coming off of a high winter season in Hawaii, which is sometimes the biggest waves in the world. So we want to always make sure safety is priority. We'll do a lot of cross training at first to get the team ready. Endurance and cardio and running and yoga. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Then we move into like junior guard programs where we, we teach them a little bit of the safety skills like CPR, first aid. He might be unconscious, okay? So when he's unconscious, hey you with the black top, call 911. And then also life saving skills. Then we move into breath holding. I can fit that much more air in my lungs just by how I moved my body. All Bobby right. Twitchell, he, he started uh, Maui Spearfishing Academy and he'll give them a real level of respect for the water, a level of respect for watching your friend, and then he'll enhance and teach us how to hold our breath properly. As a coach, it's really important for us to remember their student first and then they're an athlete. So they might surf really, really good, but if their grades aren't up, they're not gonna be able to surf in the contest anyway. We have them communicate with their teachers. We communicate with their teachers. We had three kids this year get a 4.0 grade point average, which was really huge. One, two, three, Lunas! Madison Runyon, Lahaina Luna. Tatiana Ebro, King K. Kalike, Skyler Lickle, Seabury Hall. It is a real exciting time for surfing right now because surfing will be in the 2020 Olympics and Maui Interscholastic League uses the same rules and guidelines that they will use in their competitions. First round we'll have all competitors and each heat is comprised of six competitors. Then the top three advance to the next round. The judges are always looking for speed, power, and flow. Then we're also looking at difficult maneuvers in the most critical part of the wave. Speed is like how fast you can go on the wave. Power is like how hard your turns are, how much spray you have. And flow is just like how you move through the wave. To be a good surfer it just takes attitude. With attitude comes everything else. If you're not happy and you're surfing, then it's like, what are you doing? You're doing it wrong, you know? Yeah, that's the only way to surf wrong. Is you're not having fun. It's like, it's, it's a light, there's a lifestyle to it, you know? And that lifestyle is all about being happy and being soaked and seeing the best in life and taking advantage of the good stuff.
Mana is the Hawaiian word for like power. It's like the power of the soul, sorta. Of. And it's like the force of nature also. Something about being in nature and being in the water, it's therapeutic. The ocean is like my home. It's where I go to think. It's where I go to relax. It's where I go when I'm sad. It's just it, it soothes me, I guess, in a way you could say. And it, um, it washes all my negative emotions out and it makes me humble. For the outcome of the season, we were third place overall. That was really good for our boys. For our girls, overall performance, we got fifth place out of nine schools, even though we had a first place overall champion. And winning from Luda, Madison Runyon. That was my goal for the year, and I did it. <laughs> my hope for the future, it'd be fun to have like a state competition where like all the schools come together and like the best of the best just compete. It's a great way to like spread aloha and I feel like it would show that surfing isn't just for fun, it's also, it's a real sport. Three, three,